What I'm going to show you is how to set up one of these RTL SDR dongles for software defined radio on a Raspberry Pi. So, Raspberry Pi, SDR dongle. That way, we'll be able to serve the data as it comes in the antenna. Uh, the sample data will just go through the network so we can uh, play with the radio from, from a computer on the network. Once you've got your Raspberry Pi installed with Raspbian, just as a basic install, uh, you can copy the commands from the comments and just paste them straight in and everything will be installed. So you don't really have to think about it. Okay, now that's done, we can uh, go and set up the antenna and install it and uh, run the server. Okay, welcome to my roof. A um, couple of things we've got to start with here is the, uh, the Ethernet cable, which comes from a PoE switch, so that actually provides power. Now, even though the Raspberry Pi isn't a PoE device, I've got this little um, PoE adapter here which breaks out the network and also brings out 5 volts. So, using that, we can connect the Raspberry Pi and power it up. Off it goes. That's just that little setup there. Now, the antenna. My TV antenna with the TV plug. Got a little adapter here to fit into the SDR connector. So that then just fits in there nicely because the antennas that come with these are useless. So now this means that this server can be pretty close to the antenna just up on the roof and the rest is network data so it doesn't matter how far away that is. And there it is. Now I'm using some SDR client software that can access that uh, RTL TCP server. And in this case I'm using a Windows program called SDR Console, but you could also use SDR Sharp or GQRX on Linux, and there's probably others, but I use this one because it's just pretty handy. And now we can click around on the, on the data and demod it how you want. If you have a look on Wireshark, the only thing I've really got running on this computer is this SDR. Uh, console, so most of this data is by far from the SDR server. So if I just stop that and uh, have a quick look at the statistics, it's average 34 megabits a second. Now, the RF bandwidth that was tuned in was 2 megahertz, so that gives you an idea of how much bandwidth this thing takes just to run that. I have another SDR server downstairs which is based on the old Raspberry Pi, and that's fine to run this. Uh, the antenna run does go all the way from the roof down to here though, so that is a bit of a long run, but it's not too bad. Uh, the reason I've got an RF amplifier here though is not because it's a bad signal, because that wouldn't improve that anyway. It's simply because I'm distributing it out to a lot of devices. Now, these six outlets here go to the multicast TV servers that I've mentioned before. Uh, this one's just an actual TV on the wall, and one signal goes into the SDR receiver. 